During World War II on October 29th, 1941, Winston Churchill said in a speech, never give in, never, 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 in nothing great or small, large or petty, never give in except to convictions of honor and good sense. I learned this for myself in college to never give up, even when it seems like your side has no chance of winning. I had served for a year and a half as Residence Halls Association Assembly Chairperson, and I decided to run for RHA President. I'm not a great public speaker, but I was very passionate about the RHA and thought that would help. It didn't. There were three men running for RHA President, and one of the men was a very good public speaker and had a professional campaign manager that created all his signs and flyers. When the votes came in, I received 387, but he received 1,056. The third candidate received 328. I was devastated and started walking back to Murray Residence Hall. A friend of mine met me on the way. She handed me a piece of paper and said, here, sign this. It was an application to run for Murray Hall president. I said, no way, I just got trounced. But she convinced me to run anyway. We had the election and I lost 60 to 54. But there were six votes for other candidates, which means the top vote getter only had 50% of the vote. The residence hall's bylaws required 50% plus one, so the winning candidate was one vote short of victory. We had a second election. In the second election, the vote was 60 to 57, with three illegible entries. Once again, my opponent was one vote shy of victory. We had a third election. Easter Sunday was two days before the third election. My opponent went home and celebrated with her family. I stayed at Murray. I noticed that most of the people in the hall that weekend were international students, so I got an idea. I took colored sheets of paper and a Sharpie marker. I talked to the international students and asked them where they were from, and then I asked them if they could write vote for Dave Parker in their native language. By election day, I had vote for Dave Parker in 17 different languages. That election, my opponent got the same 60 votes as in the first two elections, but this time I received 90 votes and was elected to hall president. The first thing I did was create an international committee and point, appoint a committee chairperson. That fall, we had a huge international food festival with food from 57 different countries. It was an exciting year. It would have been so easy to have just given up after my first loss or the second or the third, but I'm thankful that I persevered. Thank you and have a great day. And if you want to hear more straight talk, just subscribe to my YouTube channel on the link at the, in the comments. Thank you. Have a good day.